everyone, and welcome to this live stream of UC Santa Cruz versus Fresno Pacific men's basketball. Yeah, so tonight Ashley and I have the honor again of broadcasting the game. Um, so right now we're heading off with the starting lineups. Uh, so for the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds, we have number two, Isaac Peralta. Number five, Nate Hendricks. Number four, Michael Mensa. Number 23, Ryan Abbott. And number 25, Darren Pearson Jr. And then for your banana slugs, we have number 24, Avery Finch. We have a, well, we have a fluctuating lineup. So I'm gonna wait till they're on the court now. <laughs> well, before you do that, we actually have the starting lineup here wrong for the Sunbirds. Out there on the court is number 15, Spencer Heimerdinger, and number one, Martin Maid. So it looks like he did something to, to earn his starting position out here tonight. Let's see if he can prove himself. All eyes on him. Um, so yes, with your banana slugs, number 13, Zeno Oka, um, number 35, Eric DeBrine, number three, Zach Granberry. Uh, we got number 24, Avery Finch, and then number five, Ian McCloskey. And the slugs lose the tip, so the Sunbirds are gonna start it off with number two, Isaac Peralta with the ball. They're gonna move it around. We got some good movement. I mean, the slugs right here, they're coming off of a two point loss. So, you know, they, they have some stuff to prove tonight. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna start there in the paint. We gotta make sure there's, there's not a lot of paint points. Yeah, we have um, Ian McCloskey taking up the fl floor. <laughs> Zinoka got that screen from Avery Finch. Banana Slugs doing some driving inside, but unfortunately, Eric DeBrine turns it over. Oh, but a nice block from mm, Mr. Zinoka. That was nasty. That was good. That was very good. Zeno got back. He didn't hesitate. He made that he made that multiple effort play. And just looking at these the Sunbird record, they are four and twelve, so I'm sure they're itching for a win tonight here at KP Arena. Let's hope the the slugs can can make it four to four and thirteen <laughs> tonight. Yeah, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Sunbirds are a Division II team. So even if their record, you know, isn't in a winning percentage, they still have some solid players that might test the slugs out tonight. Yep, and there we got uh, Avery Finch attempting um, about an 18-foot jumper. Unfortunately, no good, but he's very good at those, and that was his first shot of the night. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing those hitting very soon. Yeah, I mean, right now the Sunbirds, I think all five of their points are from number 15, Spencer Heimerdinger. So the so Slugs got to figure out how to stop him because he's hot early. We have Ian McCloskey getting it inside to Avery Finch. Goes, kicks it out to Eric DeBrine. And unfortunately, he steps out of bounds, which if you tune into the last <laughs> game, Kaylee and I were com commentating, which was a little bit ago, but... Uh, the, the out-of-bounds calls really get you in KP Arena. Yeah, just, you know, it's brighter in here. You got multiple lines out there for the three-point. You know, it, it tricks you a little bit. And our coach doesn't believe us when we say it's different, but it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get <laughs> caught out-of-bounds in there. And we got Ian McCloskey kind of at a side disadvantage. And they're going to get it out to number one, Martin Maid. And he misses it, but... Spencer Heimerdinger picks it up, cleans up the board. And like I said earlier, that he's he's definitely already starting to prove himself why he's in that starting lineup. Avery Finch kicks it out to Zach Granberry. Great three-point shot out there on the wing. And that is Zach's game. Zach is a very proficient three-point shooter. So, um, you know, it's it's not a good idea to leave him open out there. Yeah, it looks like Sunbirds are moving the ball pretty well. We got a nice drive by Martin, some quick passing. Ian got his hand in there, and that's going to be Slug's ball. Yeah, so far already uh, about two turnovers for the Sunbirds. 
on not even three minutes into this game. And it uh, seems like they're having tough times getting getting it passed in the middle. So we'll see if if they can readjust that here. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I'm looking at the Sunbird stats, and Spencer's only averaging 6.4 points per game, so he's already passed his average here tonight. And they're being led by number 25, Pearson Jr. Or, yeah, Pearson Jr., so let's see if he can step up and start making some points for them tonight. He's averaging 13 and a half, but the Slugs hit another three, and they're back on the board with Zeno. Yeah, that's Zeno's game, too. Zeno, Zeno I mean, Zeno has a lot in his bag, but... Um, He's lethal on the three-point line as well. So, yeah, he's lethal in all aspects of the court. I mean, we already see, like saw him hustle back, get a block. We yeah. know he can drive. We've seen him hit some really crazy and one shots. I mean, and he's got the three-point range. He's a three-level scorer. Trayson Keating, who came into the game very quickly for the Banana Slugs, he attempts that three, unfortunately misses it. Yeah, number five, I'm sorry, I'm missing the names here. Nate Kendricks passes it off to number two, Isaac Peralta. Peralta hits Heimerdinger. He's going to have a size, dis oh, I mean, he had a size advantage there over Ian, but just a little too tough off the glass, and the slugs take the ball down the court. Yeah. Ian McCloskey doing a nice little skip pass to Trayson Keating, cuts to the basket for that finish. Now, Trayson is very good at those putbacks in the basket, being strong around the rim. He is a force inside. He's very strong, and uh, that's that's really his game. So, so far, the Banana Slugs really just playing to their strengths on offense. Yeah, the Sunbirds with a shot and an O-board, but the Slugs get the ball. Ian's going to take it all the way down the court before he finds Finch out on the side, and it looks like Finch has a dis. Oh. No, nope. I thought he was going to take him. I thought so, too. I really did. <laughs> I really did. But he didn't. And then the Slugs get a travel call. That's okay. I was going to say that Avery, for the I think kind of one of the first times ever, has, like, a size disadvantage. Like, he's not as big as, the, like, the player who's guarding him. Yeah, you don't you don't see that in, in D3 very much. I mean, Avery's a very, very strong presence um, when it comes to a D Division three basketball especially. So... To, to see someone matching up with him like that, I think it'll it'll be a fun night seeing them battle it out. Yeah, and I mean on that one, you know, Isaac Peralta kind of switched over onto Avery, and you know, I think Avery Avery could have like taken him there, but yeah. decided to pass it off. So maybe just looking for a better opportunity. But I mean, right now the Slugs hold a one point lead, and we're only about a quarter into the into the half. Yeah, they're doing well. I mean, I, like yeah, like we're saying, really, it's it's Spencer Heimerdinger that um, is on is on the lookout right now. He's um, you know he's a force in there. It, there's there's no doubt about that. And uh, I don't even think anyone else is has anyone else scored on Fresno Pacific or a three. There was a three score. No, he was the three. Oh, he was, he was three. three. So. I mean, I think that's the game plan right yeah. now. We need to Get shut Spencer the ball. <laughs> we need to, the slugs need to shut Spencer down, and the, and the sunbirds sun <laughs> need to give Spencer the ball. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes as they come out of this out of this timeout here. And um, in case you're new to the live stream, Kaylee and I are both on the women's basketball team, and so I apologize if you're a Sunbirds fan um, because we can't help but be a little bit biased. We're all we're friends with all these guys and we yeah. we enjoy watching them play. Um, so we'll, we'll do our best to shout it out when when the Sunbirds hit something good. Yeah, I mean, you know, they yeah. just came out with like a bunch of new players on the court. So we got we got zero Kyle Monk uh, over in the corner here. We got number 23 Ryan Abbott, who we initially thought was a starter. And then Martin Maid's going to drive the ball, get it to zero. Oh, and Kyle Monk fouled on the on the play by Matthew McDonald, and he's going to go to the line for two. Yeah, we have a we have a few new faces for the Slugs as well. We have freshman Just, Justin Yasukochi, and we have senior Matt McDonald, number eleven, and we have Reese Reese. What's his What's his last name? I just I just messed Ivanoff. up. We Ivanov. We Ivanov. Sorry, I didn't see it on my sheet over here. Yeah, and we also 
we just want to say the slugs tonight are without star freshman Henry Pikus. So True. we hang some on the court tonight. We love Henry's energy as we've gotten to know him this year. Sadly out with a, I believe, a broken wrist. It's a tough one. Yeah. Unfortunately, Calvin Keyes is out as well. And he is a starter for the banana slugs. He uh, he's had his own ha had his own um, injuries and such. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. I mean, Reese battled down there, got the rebound, was kind of fouled, quite obviously. And yeah, that was that was odd. Battled, and then the slugs ended up, you know, not being able to hold the Sunbirds in number five. Pause. Nate Hendricks. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta look at the names. <laughs> uh, I believe just hit a layup. Unfortunately, the Slugs missed their shot, which led to a breakaway layup for number zero, Kyle Monk. And now at the Sunbirds are up five. Tracing with the ball at the top of the key. He's scanning the court. He's gonna find Justin. Justin's gonna hit him with a nice bounce pass. He's gonna try to body in Heimerdinger, and he's He's not gonna get three, he gets blocked. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough take. Again, Spencer uh, Heimerdinger is a, is a much uh, stronger and taller guy than him. Um, but still not a bad attempt, and it, it still yeah. led to Banana Select's ball. As yeah. um, Matt McDonald unfortunately loses the ball from an out of bounds pass. Yeah, and we got some play back and forth between Michael Mensah and Jonah Gurren before the ball gets stolen. And Matt takes a body to the head and then finally gets the call. So he's gonna go to the line. Yeah, that was a great jump stop, which actually we've been talking a lot in practice uh, about that as well. Like it's, I mean, look at him going flying. They're just expecting to, to block, block you on the, breakaway layups like that. But Matt was very smart jump stopping and drawing that foul going up for that layup, so. Yeah, and then entering the game for the Banana Slugs, we have number 33 for the first time tonight, Kaden Brinznikar? Is that what it is? Brinznikar? I think so. Sorry, Kaden, we didn't oh. ask before. Sorry, <laughs> but we're excited for you. Yeah, I think this is our first time seeing you play. He's, so a he's a freshman. I'm excited to see what what he's got up his sleeve. And Avery Finch gets that rebound off of the attempted shot by the Sunbirds. As you know, has the ball up top, dribbles to the wing at Caden, but kicks it back out to Justin Yamak Yasukochi. He kicks it to the corner to Eric DeBrine. Very good three attempt, but unfortunately, the Sunbirds get that rebound. Yeah, they're gonna bring it up the court. A little too hard of a pass. And the slides are gonna be in transition. Some nice passing. Probably maybe you should have shot that a little sooner. But I mean, you know, in transition, you gotta get out there, you gotta get the ball up quick. You gotta try to get a shot quick before the rest of the defense tra transitions back. We got Kate. Well, you got Eric DeBrine on ball. Yeah, he's gonna hit Ryan Abbott, who's then gonna get some ball movement going before he takes it, gets fouled. And I think they're gonna call that one off ball. Oh, so that one's gonna be on his first shot. So thankfully they're not gonna count the second main shot. And we have number 23, Ryan Abbott, shooting two. He makes his first. And the Slugs holding their own against this Division II team here. Yeah, I mean, a small run by the Sunbirds. You know, it's only a five-point game, so this could easily, the momentum could easily shift to the Banana Slugs' way. Now we have it up top for the banana slugs. Xena Oka passes back to Justin Yasukochi, who kicks it out to Eric DeBrine. Eric DeBrine looks like the Sunbirds are playing a little, little zone type action, a little 2-1-2 action. 
and Eric DeBrine attempts to take advantage of that shooting three, but unfortunately misses. Yeah, I mean, if you're having a good three-point shooting night, zones, they don't really work out too well. I mean, if you can get some shots up over a zone defense, they're probably going to switch to a man real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so the Summers don't seem to be respecting the three right now, which Xenohoka oh, almost proved them wrong. Not quite. As so Nate Kendrick brings it up. Gets some movement. I mean, that was a great spin move. Yeah, that was Darren Pearson Jr. That's a hard move to stop. Yeah, I mean, he just went in there strong. When you get, I mean, for him right now, it looks like he's the, the center in. So to have a center with that ball handling and that's strong is just lethal. Yeah, the Sunbirds are doing a really good job at rebounding. And Nate Kendricks brings it up to Darren Pearson. They're going to get that ball movement going. He's going to pull up. It's a little too strong. And the slugs are now back the other way. Eric DeBrine got another rebound as Justin Yasukochi. Passed it up to Avery Finch. Avery trying to go to work inside. Kicks it out to Eric DeBrine. Kicks it back to Justin Yasukochi. Yasukochi kicking it back out to Eric DeBrine. DeBrine looking inside, unfortunately almost getting it taken from him, but regaining possession. Zina Oka driving, kicking it out to Kaden. Bresnikar. Bresnikar. We're, we're learning as we're going. I've got, I've got Justin down now, because I haven't had to announce Justin Yasukochi yet. But I got him down, so now I'm going to get Kaden's last name down. Bresnikar. Uh, so, I mean, Eric went hard to the basket, got a foul. And they're going to call a timeout on that because that's a dumb foul. Also, why are you letting him <laughs> O-board over you like that? <laughs> that's, just, that's just not putting the effort in. You just don't want the ball. You're going to let him rebound over you like that? Yeah, I mean, on our team, our coach sets a limit to how many O-boards we can let in a game. Mm -hmm. And if we pass that limit, it's scary. It is. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Coach Mo when that happens. Uh -uh. Um, I wonder if, you know, these teams also kind of set a precedent like that. Like, hey, like, don't let this many go. But right there, Slugs added one to their, to their box score. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the seven-point game. Slugs seem to be a bit rattled by the 2-1-2. I think they're trying to dribble too much in it when there can be some more skip actions or inside-out actions. But um, On the line, hits his first three or his first free throw. Yeah, Eric. Uh, Eric sporting those slug yellow shoes. I know they're so noticeable. Caden's got some some yellow oh, shoes yeah. on too. Yeah, he does. Some we we uh, yeah. I do like to look at the drip. I feel like guys really pride themselves in their shoes like I don't see as many like flashy shoes in women's college basketball but I feel like the guys that just they just really like to do that I don't know no yeah I agree with that you know I feel like we see a lot less like bright colors but also I mean like women's basketball shoes not a lot of options so I feel like we always end up wearing men's basketball shoes anyway yeah that's so. true but I mean the slugs another two points for the Sunbirds, and that is a big foul on Avery Finch by number four, Michael Mensa. Yeah, that, def that definitely was just an accident. Um, he was, again, trying to, trying to anticipate 
Avery going up with that and just jumping on his back in the process. So I guess it was an athletic play, but um, luckily no one got hurt. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that happens all the time in basketball. I mean, Ash and I got into that <laughs> our practice is it, what, a couple <laughs> days ago, and she went flying on the floor because we collided. So, I mean, yeah, it just happens. Common. Part of basketball. Uh, Trace and Keating going to screen for Ian McCloskey, trying to drive in as the shot clock ends and unfortunately missing. And unlucky for the banana slug, Spencer Heimerdinger is back in the game. And another new face for the banana slugs is Sohan. And I apologize, Sohan. I should have asked you. And I mean to ask you every time before the game. Sohan. Kershaw Sagar, Sagar. I mean, for what's there, like that, that didn't sound bad. Oh, thank you. So we hope, Sohan, that that was somewhat correct. And if not, we apologize. And we want to pronounce your name correctly, so we will get to you about that. And uh, the Sunbirds, nice little transition there, but lost their advantage. But Darren, oh, okay, Darren. Darren okay. Go up strong, and Trace is going to foul him, and he's going to end up on the line for an and one play. Yeah, he did another one of those spin moves, and again, he's a very athletic post man, and he just did that against Trace, and that was fine, fine defense on Trace until the very end when when he caught his arm. Unfortunately for the banana slugs, he makes the and one, and. I think they're adjusting the score. Yeah, so now we got a 10 point game. Slug's possession, Trayson's gonna look around. Head Zeno, he's gonna take it, find Matt to Sohan. Woo! That's all, like you could easily say that's in as soon as he shoots it. I mean, that it's just it's like many more times than not, it's just like that's going in. So. If y'all didn't know, Sohan is one of the best three point shooters ever. Sohan slays. Sohan made a game winner against Pacific Union last year, which was very fun to watch. Game winning three. And I think that just sums up how, how he is as a three-point shooter. He's clutch. He gets the job done on the three. Like, You know what? I will say this. We've seen Ian practicing that move. You know, you practice what you do in the games. I mean... He'll come in outside of their practice time. He'll hit that. I mean, he's proven here tonight that it's worth getting some practice in. Yeah. Yeah, he really puts in the work. We got we got a lot of guys on the team that we see like because we get the we get like an hour between our practice ending and theirs beginning, and a lot of them like to come in early and, and get get work done. And yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah. And uh, we got. So we're, we're doing something a little different tonight. So when the timeouts go and the music, the music starts playing, we're not going to be out here to speak. But we got some stats so far. And I just want to say, we we're like, oh, Spencer this, Spencer that. Very quickly, Darren Pearson has caught up, and they are both leading the team with seven points right now for the Sunbirds. 
Yeah, they, they've scored a um, majority of the points with Kyle Monk putting four up too. But for the Banana Slugs, uh, the point scoring's pretty spread out right now. We have, we have Granberry with a three, DeBrine with a two, McCloskey with the two, we we'll just got that and one, and um, yeah, we got Oka with that three, so everyone's uh, putting in some work right now. Yeah, and Spencer there tried to just hit Ian's move on him and missed the shot. So the Slugs get the ball as Matt comes down with the rebound. And Trayson's gonna hold it up, scan the floor. Oka kicks out to McDonald. McDonald kicks to McCloskey, who's blocked by number 23, Ryan Ab Rabot. Abbott. Ooh. On the line. Ooh, we knew that was gonna happen soon for the Sunbirds. And I'm gonna make a lucky guess that that's not gonna be the first time. The only time, I mean. The only time that happens, because yeah, I mean, we see so many teams do that. We should compile a video of every single time someone <laughs> steps on the dang sideline and <laughs> send it to our coach. Just, he doesn't believe that it's a common thing. Yeah, Coach Coach Todd, if you're watching. Yes, Zach. Sorry. Great rebound. That was just a flex of there. Yes, Zach. Yes, Zach. <laughs> that was a great cleanup by Zach Granberry. Got a, had a little, little short little floater action, little jumper. Yeah, I mean, do you ever feel like when you're on these mics, you gotta refrain from like yelling? Yeah, like I like some things I was just wanting to get super hyped up, but then I'm like, I don't want to blow out the the ears of the people listening. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was some great defense by Trace and Keen. He really was like, no, you're not gonna get by me, and it looked like they talked a little smack out there, which I'm here for. That's fun. Trayson just really gets the job done. Like he just gets in there and he's like. I'm gonna be strong. I'm going to, you know, take the biggest and strongest guy out there. Like I'm gonna go be strong in the paint. Like I really like how he plays. Like he just yeah. comes in. He's just a body out there. He's a unit. So birds. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little rusty. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. School started. <laughs> Our heads hurt. My brain is fried. I don't know if y'all have taken an intense human physiology class because it's not <laughs> that fun sometimes. <laughs> And I came from that here, so we're sorry. We're <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're defrosting right now. We're, we're, letting, we're, it, <laughs> we're letting it all out. And we missed, I guess, an offensive call. <laughs> so that's great, because we were having a moment. We're sorry, I'm also, everybody. I'm also distracted by the dance team running by us, because I'm very excited to watch them dance, because they did it at our halftime last game. We, we didn't, didn't get, get to see it. it. We didn't get to see it. So everyone better stay on for halftime. Don't, don't leave. At halftime. Ooh, nice shot. Uh, just a little short. I mean, the Slugs, I think, just got to clean up their shot selection here a little bit. Because, I, I mean, the Sunbirds right now, it seems like they're taking slow, like, steady shots. They're finding people on the court who need to be found. And the Slugs, I think, are maybe just rushing a little bit. I mean, that was an okay shot by Matt. He's a shooter. We'll let him take that. That's, that's not bad. Yeah. The Sunbirds with some intensity down the court. That was a great, that was a beautiful shot by Kyle Monk. Or no, Martin Maid. Martin Maid. It says Martin is from Estonia. Oh, oh cool. Fun fact. Nice. That's two hands Darren had on Avery Finch, so that's going to be a foul call on him. And we got some new subs in the game for both teams for the Sunbirds. We got number two, Isaac Peralta, and number 11, DJ Searcy. And we have a new face for the Banana Slugs. He has not pay, played in a game yet. This is very exciting. Um, Kaylee, you go ahead. You, you got the pronunciation. So in the game, for the first time for the Slugs, number 34, Nez Etoff. So excited to have him a part of the Banana Slug program. He's a transfer, so it took some time to get on the court. He is so kind. He's very nice. He came and supported us at our last game, was one of the loudest cheers in the crowd. Uh, and we've had the pleasure of getting to know him these past couple weeks, and we're excited to watch him play tonight. Now we got the Sunbirds. Sunbirds going around playing some, some four game action and attempting the drive on Justin Yasukochi. Oh, he, no. 
You can't try to throw it off somebody when they're no. that far away, but then if he turns it over, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> so, um, I was, I was going to give Avery the benefit out there. I was like, dang. You that can't was throw tough. it off his leg like that. Avery got it. I was like, heck yeah, let's go. But then I think yeah. it just momentum shift, turned around, threw it away. But that's okay. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. It does happen to the best of us. And the music's starting. So we'll be back after this timeout. Goodbye. So just a little points update. Zach Granberry is leading the Slugs with five points. And we still got our leading scores as Darren Pearson and Spencer Heimer Dinger uh, for the Sunbirds. Ooh, look, a little battle down in the paint. And Finch is going to foul Pearson Jr. So, I mean, I think the slugs right now are missing offensively some key aspects because we have Finch who's averaging 14 points a game and right now Sunbirds have held him to zero you know so I mean, I mean he hasn't even taken his shot has he he's taken one shot one shot yeah he took that little that little long jumps to jump shot but he needs to he needs to take some more I mean I know it's tough they were in that 2-1-2 two -two, but still they're kind of, it's kind of all what they're, yeah, they're back in man now, so. Avery Finch driving out to Nez, into Zach, Zach out to Avery, Avery to Eric DeBrine. Eric driving and kicking to Justin Yasukochi. Eric DeBrine attempting a three. Zach Grammary getting a great rebound, trying to body him up. Unfortunately misses, Sunbirds get the rebound. Yeah, I mean, it's a nine-point game. It's been pretty steady for a little bit, but the Sunbirds are just finding Pearson in the paint every single time they come down, and he's converting most of the time. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great game plan. And he's their leading scorer. They're looking at him. They're confident in him, and he's playing pretty well. He has an interesting free throw shot, though. Have you seen it? He kind of, like, pauses for a second before his shot. And, like, that's a little smart. I'll give it to you. Okay. But also, like, that would trick me. But I'm saying it's yeah. smart on his part because, like, the other teams are probably stepping over that line all the time. Yeah. So that's true. He misses it. Another so opportunity. Little, little, little trick. violation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a new face in here. Joe, Joe, Joe S S B. I want to say. Yes. Joe S B. Number 31, freshman out there. Big Joe. And, you know, I root. I ru Enjoy Big Joe's presence in the gym. And also, uh, if you follow the men's basketball account on Instagram, they did a, they're, they've been doing a little video question series, and it was, what, who's your spirit animal? And he said, capybara. And that is a great animal. So I trust anyone who says that, because those are great creatures. And he gives off great capybara energy. He does give off capybara energy. <laughs> Pop off, Joe. I mean, we got McCloskey moving the ball out to Joe. He got called in a travel on the possession before this. They're going to find Big Joe. Nice crab dribble. I mean, that was cutting to Brian. 
I mean, that was great. He was patient. You know, he wasn't sped up. Hit him with the assist. That was great. And that was a great cut by Eric DeBryan reading that in there. Yeah, I mean, it, right after that, DeBryan with the steal. I mean, that was kind of smart play by Joe. He's given, he's given Darren Pearson some space. Pearson didn't really do much that far out. Gets caught up. DeBryan gets a steal. Now the slugs moving the ball around. We've got Etog with the ball. He's going to find Mikowski. And, ooh, on ball screen, nice pass. Nice pass by Joe. And DeBrine finishes. I mean, another another little um, SB to DeBrine action. That's a good duo. I know they're proving themselves. We like this. A big to a, I mean, is Eric a, is a big? I mean, Eric, Eric is 6'6". Six, six. Okay, he's like a hybrid, I feel like. That's yeah. big for us, but like, I mean, if we're, yeah. If a girl walked down the court and she's 6'6", six, six, I'd be like, dang, okay. <laughs> but for them, he still could be playing some guard, some guard positioning. Yeah. Some good ball mo movement from the Sunbirds, and they're going to find zero. Kyle Monk in the corner, and he's going to hit the three. Yeah, it seems like um, Monk is a, uh, yeah. Monk, Monk has had some great shots so far this game, and that was just, you know, it, it was a good closeout by Eric DeBrine, but sometimes great offense beats great defense, so. Very true. And that was a quick shot by Granberry, and the Sunbirds are gonna get the ball. They're gonna find number 11, DJ Searcy. He's gonna pull up over to Brian and hit that. Yeah, it's now 14 point game, and uh, this is the last possession of the game, so we're hoping, you know, we can end it well. Yes! yes! And the first okay. point! We're so sorry we're yelling. But that was Nez's his first, first points. First collegiate basket, the junior from Blacksburg, Virginia. He's come a long way here to Santa Cruz. Yes, Nez. We're so excited for you. That was awesome. Almost got a foul call in the end. But that's okay, a little excited. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna leave you guys for the half because we got an awesome performance by the dance team. Uh, and we're gonna let you guys enjoy that. Some quick comments about the game. I mean, right now it's a 12 point game. Some birds are moving the ball really well. Uh, Slugs really gotta pick up their def their defense, especially in the post. I mean, Darren Pearson just getting the ball down there and he's he's going crazy with it. So we gotta watch their defense. And you got anything for the offensive end, Ash? Yeah. Oh, we're going, we're going into the dance team now. So please stay for it. Thank you.
slugs right now. They're down 12. The Sunbirds shot 50% in the first half of this game. Shooting well from the field compared to the slugs 31%. So they're coming out here on offense trying to make some stuff happen. Yeah, we got banana slugs. Had this ball to start as the shot clock's running down. Eric Bryant throws up a three point shot and misses as the Sunbirds take it up the floor. pass and that was not <laughs> that's a good ball movement and then just a slight little hit out of balance the ball's gonna stay with the sunbirds yeah, eric devine had a nice little nice little tap away and we have um one of our league scores in the game spencer hammer digger yeah, I mean, to lead all scores right now is number 25 for the Sunbirds, Darren Pearson Jr. He's been a force in the paint. And maybe in the second half, the Slugs can kind of shut him down. Like there, Zach Granbury steps over, helps the helper. And Slugs go the other way, get a foul call, and they're going to keep possession. Yeah, that was a great read by Zach Granbury. He knew they were going to try to get it into Darren Pearson. And um, that was just a great, a great read by him. Jersey pool? Did he pull his jersey? Oh. So I think they're calling a T or flagrant foul on the Sunbirds, and that's going to send Finch to the line. Unfortunately, he misses his first. Let's see if he can knock down this second one. I wonder who that was called on. Hmm. Did you see what happened? No, I didn't. Well, that's a point for the Slugs. Woo! And Free point. they get to keep possession. So, yeah. Vibes. So they get the ball in. McCloskey is going to bring it over half. To DeBrine, to Finch. Little fake handoff. Back to McCloskey. He's going to look for Finch. He's going to get to work. Uh, just a little short. But I mean, he does probably have that quickness advantage. I mean, usually the bigger and stronger the post is, slower they can be. So I mean, if Avery wants to utilize that this, this half. Yeah, I mean, they, that was only his second shot of the game. I think um, he just needs to get into his rhythm a little more and then I think he'll start knocking down some shots if, if he can do that for himself. Yeah, and Zeno with some really good defense. That's gonna be an awkward pass for the Sunbirds. And not the greatest shot. Yeah, surprise for, for Spencer Heimerding to shoot that, even though he did make a three point in the in that first half, but bit of a rushed contested shot. Yeah, and Finch there had the size advantage over Pearson, just a little short on the shot. We have Heimerdinger doing a handoff with Peralta kicking it out. To Kendricks, Kendricks kicking it back into Person. Person trying to go to work inside on Finch. And DeBrine gets the rebound. Unfortunately, it was stolen from him by Martin Maid. And that puts the Sunbirds up 13. Yeah, that's tough. I absolutely hate it when a player from the other team, like you don't see them, they come up behind you and tap the ball. And so, I mean, got to really focus on there, keeping the ball strong, chin and checking. Not allowing that to happen. Yep. And Avery Finch is fouled on the shot. Yeah, he's been proactive for the past couple of possessions for the slugs. So let's see if he can hit these free throws. Oh yeah, that was a that was a big foul. That was a big foul. Yeah, I think he came in with a little more of a fire, you know, he knows he needs to he really wants to to step it up inside, you know they haven't they haven't had a lot of of um, post scoring yet. The banana slugs, just some just some little cuts to the basket and such, and little things around the basket, but not really like post ups, which is understandable because the Sunbirds have a big lineup. But um, I think Avery Finch, as an athletic uh, strong post, 
uh, can can go against them if he just if he just uses his strength to his advantage. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this, but three times now I've seen Ian get switched onto the big off screens or like handoffs. So I wonder yeah. if they're just switching everything. Yeah. But I mean, on that one they they switched, got a little lost, and Martin Martin made hit that three. Oh, just barely missed for Avery Finch. But Zeno Oka got that put back. He was able to read where that rebound was going to go, and he did, a, he did a great job of just being strong going up, back up with the ball. So Peralta has it at the top. He's going to get some movement, some dribbling. Martin, who just hot off the three, looks to shoot, decides to get it to Pearson. He's going to body with Finch into the paint, and he's going to go up. Two more points for the Sunbirds. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's his move of the game. So the challenge is, are they going to be able to stop that move? Because he can he can do that all day, it looks like. Yeah, that was, that was some good movement for the slugs there. I mean, Zeno had a mismatch down low. So he was looking for the ball, but Finch took it, hit a move, and then a nice pass, and DeBrian finishes. And, oh. That was a little bit of an interesting call, but I believe that's going to be on Zach Granberry. And that's going to send Peralta to the line. Now, Isaac Peralta, his advantage has been to kind of kind of do what he just did there, kind of like shimmy in there. He's, he's sneaky and athletic guard and, um, and trying to get around the big guys like Finch, for example, trying to get there inside. And uh, yeah, he used it to his advantage to draw that foul. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard being a big and you have shifty, you know, shifty smaller guards coming into the paint and you're trying to keep up with their quickness, but also not try to foul, but you got the height advantage. So you're like, I'm gonna try to block you if I can. And you know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way, a little too much body and the smaller guard falls down. <laughs> and it's usually going to go their way. You're probably not going to get a no call on that. So, yeah, just the way of the game. The way of the game. Kind of like the, oh, I was thinking like wave. They did a wave earlier in the stands, if you didn't see it. Oh, they're playing Ooh. music. <laughs> oh, it's a timeout. We're not supposed to be talking. don't know how much you heard <laughs> what we were just saying. So we forgot it was a timeout. Um, <laughs> we were talking about smaller guards, shifty, big post, taking them out. That's a summary. That's all you need. And mm -hmm. now Peralta's at the line. It is first one. And Second one rolls in. Just in case you're curious, Eric DeBrien is now the leading scorer of the Banana Slugs with eight points. He is... He is being sneaky in there, getting sneaky little cuts. And six rebounds on the road to a double-double, perhaps? Let's go, Eric. Oh, and the ball gets stolen from Justin. Yes, he tries what he can to stop it, but the Sunbirds, Sunbirds convert that into two. And it is now a 16-point game. And Justin Yasukochi, Yasukochi drawing that foul going after the layup. Spencer Heimerdinger didn't like that. He did not think that was a foul. Mm -mm. He was a little shocked, a little surprised, <laughs> some may even say. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what, babe? Happens. Can't happens. argue with the refs. It just happens. Nope. You cannot. But it's okay. We still love you, Spencer. <laughs> Spencer <laughs> is very good. We Spencer, don't know you, Spencer. If, <laughs> if your family is watching this, I just want to say you're playing well, bud. Yeah, he is. Doing good. Questionable. 
questionable. But we're here for the slugs. Slugs got the ball. That's a travel. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> for a minute, I thought they were going to call that. Got a little surprised. Let's go sluggies. So another opportunity. And to score. Actually, and just to give a little shout out, if you see the guy in the yellow long sleeve shirt walking around the stadium, he was just on the baseline, but he's he's moving around now. I think he's out of frame. He's getting the angles. He's getting say. the angles. But he is he goes by eleven visions and he is very talented at what he does. If you have Instagram, you should follow 11.visions on Instagram. Uh, yes, it's just very cool mixtape videos he's been doing of men's basketball and our team women's basketball. Um, yeah, really fun. He's really talented. So you should go check it out. Yeah, and probably be on the lookout. He's going to post a video for this game most likely. Yeah, uh, no matter the outcome. Because right now it's, we're down 16 points, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There's still 15 minutes of basketball to play in this half. Exactly. It's a game. Basketball's a game of runs. They can get a score, stop, score. Coach Todd, if you're listening, he loves score, stop, score mentality. We do it in practice a lot. And yeah, let's yeah. see if they can do that out there. I mean, Spencer, another two. It's okay. Uh, and Justin Yasukochi kicked it to Tracing Keating, who kicked it back out to Yasukochi. Granberry back to Yasukochi. Keating screening for him. Yasukochi kicking it out to Oka, who calmly shoots that three with pressure, but unfortunately misses it. Yeah, I've, the Sunbirds are transitioning really well. I mean, they get the ball out quick. Their guard's taking it down the floor. And because of that, they're getting shots like that. So right there, number 23, Ryan Abbott. He's going to hit a three, and it's now a 21-point game. Wow. Well, we're not sure who our audience is, but if you are new to KP Arena, here it is. The Santa Cruz Warriors play here. Oh, there's music playing. Oh. <laughs> back again don't realize when we stopped talking okay. <laughs> but we're we're back we're back that's all that matters so right now slugs with possession of the ball we got some good movement uh, that was a good pass just sadly went through Trayson's hands and it's now Sunbird's ball uh, another double double watch uh, Spencer actually has nine points and seven rebounds so oh nice block by Trayson Keaton great block and Slugs pushing up the floor with Ian McCloskey. Ian doing a nice little dribble action through and finishing that layup. Yeah, he's crafty. I mean, he knows how to finish well around the, around the rim, and we've seen that. I think this is kind of one of the first times he's done it tonight, but look good. And Darren Pearson hits another two, and he is now the leading scorer for the game with 14. Yeah, that was, a, that was a great move. Great little jump shot he had. Matt McDonald attempting the three. And Justin Yasukochi got that rebound. 
And he seems like, he seems, he's also sneaky. I, that's how I like to describe guards that are just like trying to, you know, get around people and go in there for those rebounds and just like read them. I don't know, like he just goes in there and you're kind of like, whoa, where did you come from? You know, like if you're not, you a like guard lose that track as well. To rebound is a good guard. Yeah. And the music's starting. So we will be, be back. <laughs> Justin hits the first free throw. For the finance slugs, we have Matt McDonald, Tracy Keating, Reese Ivanoff, Ian McCloskey, and Justin Yasukochi in. We say that, and some uh, subs are already coming. Nice steal by Justin. He's going to get that and lead McCloskey. McCloskey kicked it back out to Yasukochi. And looked like he was fouled on the shot. I watched that after, but ref didn't see it or think it was a foul. And we got a shot on the outside, which is good for number four, Mike Mensa. Yeah, I mean, that's a shooter's bounce. You get lucky sometimes. Oh, Tracy, Tracy needs to take him. Take him. They knew that. They knew he, yeah, he needed help. They knew he needed help. So three of them. Okay. Matt. Tracing, leaving a shooter open. And Matt's going to hit that. Nice shot, Matt. That nice was shot. a great shot. Good job. If you guys didn't know, fun fact, Matt is the uh, uncle, favorite uncle to our guinea pig, Trisha. <laughs> McKinley and I and Mandy. <laughs> on the women's basketball team. We have a guinea pig named Trisha. And Matt was at the store when we picked her out. And he actually helped us choose between two guinea pigs. So he's yeah. an uncle. So he's an uncle. He's babysat. So we appreciate you for that, Matt. <laughs> You're forever in our hearts. <laughs> and we got some substitutions <laughs> for the slugs going in. 33, Caden. And then Avery's back in. So let's see if. We can turn this 20-point game around. There's still 12 minutes left. A lot can happen in 12 minutes. Yes, I agree. This game is not over, and the slugs are destined for their run. So Ian McCloskey bringing up the floor. Looks like they're back in their 2-1-2 zone action. So let's see if they can get some threes out of this or some inside-out action like we were talking about. And unfortunately, the ball was turned over. That's OK. Yeah, you know, it is hard. And I will say this, being a big at the bottom of a zone, like trying to find those passes out, is very pick and choose. Like you, you can't just throw anything out. Um, and that's an offensive call on Ryan Abbott. Too wide. That's been implemented this year, I think. Well, actually I talked to a referee and she told me that it started last year. But if your hips are too wide, automatic offensive foul on a screen. Huh. If you're watching, learn that, know that, tell other people we have to go because it's a timeout and music's about to play. See you in a second. <laughs>
All right, so we're back after that timeout. Funnily enough, our coach just texted us and said it's a 1-3-1 one -one zone that the Sunbirds are running. My bad, everyone. I thought that I thought those two people in the back were, were back on. No, I wasn't even looking at that. So props to you for even counting and seeing where people were because I was like, oh, they're not in man zone. Sometimes you got to play it a little easy. Um, oh, nice pass Woo! from McCloskey to Ivanov, and Reese finishes that one. Great, great finish. And, yeah, Reese puts up his first points of the night. Good job, Reese. Reese, we talked about this last game, but Reese is from Alaska. That is a fun fact. Yeah, and I really was thinking, like, middle of nowhere Alaska. And I asked. He's from Anchorage, I think. I think that's what he said. Pretty populated, I believe. So... Our idea is very different of what Alaska was. <laughs> <laughs> but the Sunbirds hit a three. We missed a three. Still, it's okay. We're going we're gonna to keep playing. And right now, Reese, we see you out there. Look at that defense. Some good ball movement by the Sunbirds. And a shot by number four. Mike Mensah is off. And the Slugs take the ball. So they're back in that zone action. Caden attempted the three, unfortunately blocked, and the Sunbirds got that rebound as Kyle Monk takes it up the floor. Yeah, Reese got another O board. I mean, he's crashing in there hard. He's playing well. Uh, and he's running the court. Hit him. Oh, that was out of bounds. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Kyle Monk. But there's <laughs> a line there you can't cross. <laughs> I have to admit that was a good hustle by it Kyle. Was. It was, but you can't do that. No, sorry. You can't step out of bounds, Kyle. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry, Kyle. But it's Slug's ball, so we're happy. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and you know it's it's um a 22-point game. And, um, you know, I think the slugs just – I think the key is just to not give up. Like, keep playing your game, you know, even if you're not going to get the, the outcome of the game you want. I mean, not to not to, not to try to look to the future or anything, yeah. but if they're not going to get the outcome they want, just keep playing their game and just take this as an opportunity to get better. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, this doesn't count toward um, any kind of D3 rankings or anything. It's With it being a D2 game, it's um, – yeah, not going to affect anything really to the tournament or anything. So, Yeah, I mean, they're going to learn a lot in this game. There's some talented players out there, so let's hope whatever happens, positive outcome. But we actually got a new player into the game for the Sunbirds. He's getting some time. They're like, let's give you some time. 24, Grant High Street, welcome to the game. Welcome, Grant. Okay. That was well, a great Peralta oh. just took that all away. That... That was a great take by Peralta. That was. He's a strong guard. He's quick. Yeah. He's Ivanov attempting the drive-in. Now Caden. That was a great, a great move by Caden Bresnikar. Good job. Yeah, that was strong. He used his body. He yeah. used the board. We like the backboard. Good job, Caden. And that was a great hustle play by him, even though they made the shot. Um, Five. Nate Kendricks. Nate Kendricks. Good shooter. He's had, he's had some good shots out there. But that was a great hustle play by Caden. A good take by Ian. And the third offensive rebound that Reese has gotten in the, what, past, like, four minutes. And he's yeah. going to head to line. That's – Remember what we just talked about? You have to limit offensive boards. You yep. have to limit them. And right now, Reese is making you look childish. Come on. Stop the offensive boards. <laughs> Don't let them in there. That's a lot. That's three. That's three. Yeah. He Reese is, is attacking. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes, Reese. Love his shoes, actually, too. Those are cool shoes. And fun back for the Banana Slugs. The last home game and senior night is on February 8th uh, here at KP Arena. If you can be here, try to come. Uh, if not, I know it's a Wednesday, so just tune in back to the stream. And I believe we could do it. I believe we'll, yeah, we'll be here. 
I think so, yeah, because our senior night is, what, only four days after that? February 12th. If you want to come to ours, if you're local, where Ashley and I will be walking before the game to celebrate our time here at, at Santa Cruz. So how sad. sad. How sad. How sweet, but how sad. Oh, oh that was almost a lost ball. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, Amy wasn't looking. Justin passed it. Reese cleaned it up. And, oh, foul. Oh, interesting. What? What happened? Oh, so, okay, I know what happened. Wow, smart brain. Justin <laughs> fouled down there previously, not even that long ago. Everyone should remember, right? Justin fouled. Must have been five fouls. On Fresno, banana slugs oh. in bonus. They didn't see it. Then they caught it. Now he's at the line. Now he's gonna shoot some free throws. Well, let's let's do this, Justin. Let's do it. Today feels like an interesting day. I feel like this has been our most laid back live stream. Yes, I agree. I know there's people on here that are fans of us, and you've seen, you've heard our <laughs> other live streams before. I just know we appreciate every single one of you. We love yes. you all. Thank you and for hanging in there. Yeah, we just, we're appreciative of you. Love you guys. Also love any Banana Slug fans also watching this game. Thank you guys for supporting the program. Yeah, thank you everybody. We appreciate that. And to Sunbird fans watching. Love Wait. that you love basketball. Love that you're fans of the game. We see you out here supporting your team. They're playing well. Got some movement, they just had a steal. And then Grant High Street's gonna get fouled. Looks like we have uh, Eric DeBron going back into the game for Justin Yasukochi. Nope. He's getting Reese Ivanoff, and we have Zachary Murray in the game for Caden Bresnikar. I think it's great how much uh, freshmen are playing, too. And, you know, like. Um, I'm not sure if Avery Finch is graduating, but Matt McDonald is graduating, Calvin Keyes, and um, so we're here. They're they're losing some players on the court this year, and so they're. I think I think it's smart. I think Sohan is graduating as well. So oh, and Eric DeBrine. So I think there's a good amount of people, and it's weird with the COVID thing too, like because like yeah. there's the there's a grade right below the fifth years, like the fourth years, and so some people are staying for their fifth years, and some people are just deciding to graduate after the four. And the music's playing, so now we're leaving. Okay, so we're at the final seven minutes and 46 seconds of this game. Sunbird ball, baseline, baseline their own basket. Oh, nice steal. That was a great steal by Eric DeBrine as Avery Finch gets that steal and kicks it up the floor to so on. So on. Passing it up to Justin Yasukochi. Yasukochi driving. Sohan back up to DeBrine. DeBrine into Finch. Finch looking to take him. Nice one dribble pull up. 
And this is a good shot by him. I mean, that's a shot that's what he practices. So, I mean, I'd say keep shooting those. Yeah, I mean, you have off nights where your shot's not going to fall, but we've seen nights where he hits all those. And, you know, it's nothing to be concerned about now. It's just an off night, but that's, that's that the game of nothing. basketball. That don't mean nothing. Exactly. Slugs back with the ball. We got DeBryan at the top. He's going to find Finch. He's going to hit Justin. Back to Granberry. Oh, a nice little handoff. Justin's looking. Got four seconds. And the Slugs lost the ball. Again, Sunbird's fast in transition. And that was a strong move by no. 11 DJ Searcy. Just didn't fall. But that's okay. That happens sometimes. I mean, yeah. you like go for I've said it's okay like a thousand times in this life. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is okay. You miss shots. Just keep playing hard. And we see that here tonight. It's a little miscommunication on the Slugs part. And um, Isaac Peralta. Um, he was our he was our he was our driver of the night actually. This is actually his first threes made. Our driver or like we were saying, using sneaky to describe him, kind of going in there, getting some good cuts, um, kind of just being able to dribble through uh, multiple people. And he had his first three of the night, which it was a good shot. I mean I mean he was wide open, so so not great defense on the banana slug part. It looked like some missed assignments there, but um, yeah, good shot for him. And actually we have in for the first time tonight, we have Elijah Brooks, number 14. He is also a freshman. And we have uh, we have Nez Etuk back into the game. Uh, Etok. Etok. Etok back into the game. And actually we have an almost all new people lineup with Granberry. Um, like we said, Nez is, Nez is a junior transfer. And then we have Brooks, Yasukochi, and Espy, all freshmen with uh, the junior, uh, Zach Granberry. No, he's only a sophomore. I thought it was a junior. Man, I'm confused with all of these <laughs> COVID years and and who's doing what. And I feel like Kaylee and I have been here for so long as <laughs> we're in our fifth years, like I said earlier. Yeah, it's. It's a lot, uh, but we also have a new player in for the Seabirds, number 12, Rias Bing. Welcome to the game. And we've got a timeout for the Slugs. My music is going to start playing, and we'll catch you right after. Takes the ball and gets it to Justin. He's going to drive right down the lane. Comes up short. And Joe battles for the rebounds. But the ball is going to head in the Seabirds direction. Or the Sunbirds, sorry. The Seabirds. <laughs> the Sunbirds direction. It's OK. Again, it's OK. <laughs> Big rebound by Joe SB. He's going to hit Elijah, and he's going to take it up the court. It's going to be tapped out by number 13 for the Sunbirds, Jonah Grone. Now we have Ivanov, Reese Ivanov, checking in for Zach Granberry. And um, 
Yeah. We again having having a, a younger lineup in there because Ivanov is also only a sophomore. So coaches coaches letting his young guys play as Espy does a nice little two dribble spin around jump shot. That was really nice looking. Yeah, I mean, the, the minutes, like you're saying, for the slugs are pretty spread out. And I think that's really good because we have a game like this where there's potential to just get better. And you want to give the opportunity to as many players as you can, especially players you're going to have on your roster for the next couple of years. So it's really great to see some of the younger guys step out. And unfortunately, Brooks just traveled. He... I mean that was a tough one. He was dribbling. He just didn't just didn't jump stop and and um, really take his time. With yeah, that pass. I think he gathered on the wrong dribble and that happens. But um, good defense by him by the slugs as they try to stay in front. Yasukochi, who was guarding uh, Kyle Monk, but Kyle Monk finishes nice little nice little um, jump shot. Justin faked him out a little bit, and it's another line call. We're texting back and forth with our coach in this game. Well, correction, I'm texting back and forth with our coach in this game, and we're arguing about the line, like as of right now. And there's another timeout. We'll leave you guys with that. Think about the line. Think about the sideline. Okay, we have three minutes, 44 seconds left of this game. And we'll see what the slugs and the sunbirds have left in them. Um, Darren Person for the sea sunbirds, I almost said seabirds. Sunbirds is leading with 15 points. And Eric DeBron continues to lead for the slugs with eight points. Oh, another new face in the game for the Sunbirds. We got number 21. Let's find him. Alejandro Mendibles. And I believe 13 is too, Jonah Gurr. No, he's been in for a little bit. Oh, hard fall, hard fall. Hopefully Reese is okay. That was kind of tough. He's getting back, he's getting back. And Joe Espy gets that big rebound as he kicks it to Justin Yasukochi, who kicked it to Elijah Brooks. Elijah Brooks, good handoff to Reese Ivanov. Reese Ivanov hands it to Espy. Espy to Brooks. Brooks. Brooks dribbles, gets it inside to Espy. I say, just take him. I say, just take him. And Nez is, Nez is fouled after Espy kicked it out to him. Yeah, I mean, that was good. Joe had good positioning. He's posting up down there. I mean, honestly, think, we think he could have taken him. But, yeah. you know, sometimes you get the feeling where you just need to pass it out. He finds Nez, and Nez is going to drive hard, gets tripped up, you know, trips an automatic foul. Um, so that's going to be us be on the Sunbirds, and it's going to send him to the line. And we had number 13, Jet. I got you here. There, Jonah Garon. He got Garon. the rebound. 
Oh, and down on the end for the Sunbirds, number 24, Grant High Street. And that's going to leave Joe Espy open. He's going to be a little too hard on the shot. Yeah, I mean, the Slugs are not shooting well from free throw line. That was a hard hit. <laughs> so it looks like Alejandro runs into Nez. They're exchanging a few words. And the floor needs to be cleaned up. So a little, a little short moment here, but I guess in this moment we can share free throw wise, the slugs are not doing well. I think they're eight for 18. They're replaying that. That's a hard fall. I really hope uh, Mindy Bless is fine. Yeah, when we, we just see Joe Espy down there. He's a presence. He's 6'8". He's listed on his roster, 6'8". And he's just got that length down there. Like, you see him down here, there, and I'm scared. Like, I would be scared to go go drive, which is probably why um, DJ Searcy pulled up. Um, but it's just great that that the Slugs can use him to their advantage, and I have a feeling he's going to, going to play a lot of minutes um, next year especially. Yeah, he's definitely a presence down there. He's a big body in the paint. And I mean, right now the Slugs... They definitely they need to play with the big presence in the paint. So hopefully he builds upon builds upon the talent they have. That was actually kind of funny. I love when people act a little bit to get a foul call. You know what I'm talking about? And they go, like, "Hey!" They're like, "Hey, hey, Ruff, hey, Ruff, hey, Ruff, did you see that? They won!" Or just kind of like a, "Hey, hey," or like flop a little bit. I'm not gonna say flop because I don't think anyone <laughs> in this game has flopped. But Ryan's being hits too but he did do that a little bit he like passed the ball and like it got hit a little bit and he's like hey. yeah hey that was a good take by him that was a scream did you just see that no <laughs> new into the game for the sunbirds number 33 tyrell lopez just got hit by an sp screen like hard like bounced off hard <laughs> <laughs> joe's a presence yeah you could talk to our teammate uh talisha she gets hit by those screens hard, and you know Tyrell should be yelling at his teammates like, "What the heck? You didn't call that." Yeah, for me. <laughs> that, that stuff hurts. And now Joe's at the line here, support system behind him. Everyone's cheering. Nice, he knocks it down. He's got that mullet, the magic mullet, <laughs> magic Joe mullet. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Sohan back in the game for Justin Yasukochi. And want to shout out our great trainer, Steph. She's at the end of the bench there with the pink hair, second to last. Um, she is an amazing trainer, and we love her so much. And she does so much for the slug. She is always working, always helping us out. She's a queen. We love her. She's great. And she's just, like, so fun to be around. Like, like she, she like obviously she's serious when you need to be. Like she's very she's very good at her job. But like I just love that we can just have great conversations with her in the training room too. She's just like very personable and I really like that in a trainer. Like it makes me like less scared to be in the training room, you know? Yeah, she she's funny. You have if you like reading books, especially romance books, <laughs> fun combos to have with Steph. Ask for recommendations, talk about what you're reading. We it's fun. It's a great time. I love talking to her about that. She's such a energetic and just kind person. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you see Steph, give her a hug. If you don't really know her, don't give her a hug, but tell her you're just <laughs> amazing. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate you, Steph. Hopefully you get to hear this. If not, we'll tell you about it. So you can listen to it. <laughs> and we're in the last 30 seconds of the game. Banana slugs down. 35. And we'll see how the Sunbirds end this game. And probably will not be shooting it because that is that is a sportsmanship like sportsman ship like. <laughs> I don't it's I don't know if that makes sense. It's sportsman like Oh yes. I was gonna say to sportsmanship or sports like <laughs> Which doesn't make sense. You were, you were on track. <laughs> Honestly, I think everyone understood what you were saying, and that's all that matters. Yes. <laughs> we, we got you, really. We understood. So no worries. No worries about that. I can't tell you probably how many things I said incorrectly in this live stream. But you know what? 
whatever. <laughs> Again, it's okay. We're we're out here having fun. Yeah, we got exactly. to watch a basketball game today. I mean, that's awesome. Got the privilege to come out here, you know, commentate the game. Sadly, the Slugs didn't take this win, but I mean, Fresno they were a good team. Some birds had some really great players that came out and and showed what was up on the court. So, you know, let's hope they just learn from it. And yeah. it's good. There's music playing, so I also don't know if this is going through. If this is, then this is our final message. If not, oh, okay. We just want to make sure. But we hope that everyone stays safe on the travel back. And Ash, any final words for you? Uh, yeah, that was super fun tonight. And even though the Slugs didn't get what we were hoping for, I think they did learn a lot. Um, and they can they can take it into their next games, into the rest of the season as they're – a little over halfway done, and um, yeah, that was fun to watch. Fun to uh, get, uh, especially to watch a lot of the the young freshmen tonight too, and sophomores. That was really fun. Yeah, it was cool to see them get the opportunity to go out there. First time seeing some people play. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I agree that was nice. But we're probably gonna sign off. Hope everyone has a great night, and let's go slugs. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>